It's been a few days since the blockbuster deal of the offseason went down that sent Russell Westbrook to the LA Lakers, and I've had some time to gather my thoughts on the deal. Normally after a big trade like that one, I rush into a video and don't really think deeply about the trade and its implications too much. It tends to be more of an initial reaction. This time around though, I've decided to wait a couple of days just so I properly analyse what this deal means for both sides before talking about it. When the trade went down, there were mixed reactions from the NBA community. Some people thinking the trade was terrible for the Lakers and a bad move, and some thinking it was amazing and could win the Lakers their 18th banner. Personally, I think this is a great trade made by the Lakers and sets them up really well for contention next season and I'll be going over why I think that in today's video. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe for more NBA content like this. I'm trying to reach 18,000 subscribers by September, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about this blockbuster NBA trade. We all should know the details of the blockbuster trade by now, so I won't go over that in too much depth, but simply, Washington has sent Russell Westbrook to the Lakers after one season to hopefully begin their rebuild, with some young pieces coming back in return, such as Kyle Kuzma and the 22nd pick. On the surface, it seems like a solid trade for both sides, particularly for the Lakers, but there is one major reason why I believe the Lakers won this trade and won it easily because it has once again established them as a legitimate contender for the 2022 NBA season. In my what's next for the Lakers video I made not too long ago now, I explained the biggest problems that held the Lakers back from succeeding in 2021, aside from injuries, which we all know was a significant factor in their demise. Their two biggest problems were the lack of a third star and shooting, and to me, Russell Westbrook is able to check off one of those issues with ease, being the third option. In the playoffs, you really need a consistent third guy who can step up, hit shots, create good looks, etc., while sitting behind the two main stars, in this case, LeBron and AD. And unfortunately for the Lakers, they just did not have that this season. If one of them had an off game, the Lakers didn't really have someone reliable to help carry the load. Though guys like Schroeder, Kuzma, etc. tried their best, they simply were not consistent enough to provide the Lakers that extra threat offensively that would keep them afloat when LeBron and AD were injured or on the bench. Looking elsewhere, we saw the utmost importance of that the last two seasons for the Clippers. In 2020, the Clippers lacked a third option. So when PG struggled big time in the bubble, it came back to bite them hard. This year though, they had Reggie Jackson and he made a world of difference. He's a huge reason why they went to the Western Conference Finals and won several games with Kawhi Leonard on the sidelines. So to me, adding Russell Westbrook to the lineup is a huge win, regardless of his apparent inability to shoot. With LeBron continuing to age and Davis a little bit injury prone, they're going to need a third option to back them up. And Westbrook provides exactly that. He's an amazing shot creator and playmaker. And even if the Lakers overall depth is a bit weaker after this trade, Westbrook has shown the ability in the past to lift a mediocre team to solid success. Like with Washington in the second half of last season and with OKC without Durant. So I don't think it's hard to imagine him doing the same with the Lakers second unit. And when I say second unit, I don't mean that I think the Lakers should have Russ coming off the bench, but I would suggest that he gets the majority of his minutes with those guys, or at the very least, when either AD, LeBron, or both of them are resting. Again, the big problem last season was when Davis and James were off the floor, the Lakers struggled to generate offense consistently. Russell Westbrook is going to be the guy who is able to do that and make the Lakers a hard team to defend across all 48 minutes. When he's playing with LeBron and Davis at the same time, it's reported that Westbrook is willing to play off ball because he knows that is best for the team and he wants to win a championship, so he will make all sacrifices that is needed to do so. Some people don't believe that would work out well, 
but personally, I think that'll be just fine for the Lakers. In Houston, Russ was becoming very dominant off-ball in the latter half of the season before it got suspended, and because of it, the Rockets were looking amazing as a unit. The suspension unfortunately disrupted all their momentum and it was harder to regather in the bubble, but we saw flashes of an effective working system with Westbrook spending time as an off-ball player. With his still elite athleticism, Westbrook is going to be so dangerous as an off-ball threat, especially when paired with a playmaker like LeBron and a scary inside presence like Anthony Davis. So, on paper to me, Russ's addition to the roster does work logistically. He'd be a great leader of the second unit and a generally consistent third option. He's an elite playmaker and when paired with a guy like Davis in the pick and roll, he will be phenomenal, as well as being an above average shot creator and scorer that the Lakers can rely on. Having that type of player consistently is something that the Lakers lacked the past couple seasons. So now enjoying that player more often is obviously only going to bring positive results to the team, in my opinion of course. Now obviously, the one major concern with the Lakers now going into next season with the addition of Russell Westbrook is their spacing and shooting. Westbrook is a below average shooter and can sometimes be incredibly inefficient from downtown, often requiring to shoot himself out of a slump to be effective, which obviously can't happen on this Lakers squad. However, I think this problem is definitely being over exaggerated a bit. Don't get me wrong, this is a pretty big issue for the Lakers going into next season, and one that they'll have to address as it may hold them back but I don't think it's so unfixable with Westbrook on the team now. There are plenty of cheap shooters on the free agency market right now who could bolster the shooting depth of the Lakers team and be built around this big three. Guys like Sterling Brown, Wayne Ellington, etc. They are all available, probably for cheap, and shot 40% or better from three last season. Adding these guys to the roster shouldn't be a difficult task, nor an expensive one and would certainly help solve the spacing problem, at least partially for now. Yes, Westbrook is inevitably going to cramp the floor a bit, but I think everything else he brings to the table completely outweighs that one negative. The LA Lakers need a third guy, a consistent scorer, shot creator, and playmaker behind LeBron and AD, who is able to keep the team afloat in times of need. This side is only getting older and the championship window for them is closing by the minute. To go out and land a former MVP is amazing and puts the Lakers in a fantastic position for next season. Generally, in a blockbuster trade, the team that lands the star player generally wins the deal and I don't think the Lakers are an exception here. This is an opportunity you can't pass up. So I just can't say that this trade doesn't make sense or is a bad move. In fact, it makes all too much sense considering the problems that the Lakers had last season. So for that reason, the Lakers are definitely winners in my book here and could have just set themselves up perfectly for another deep title run in the 2022 NBA season. And that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? What were your thoughts on the Russell Westbrook trade? Who won the deal to you, the Lakers or the Wizards? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I am out. Peace.